Lithium batteries are not dead. Are sodium batteries the future? Battery tech is advancing faster than ever, and it's getting harder and harder to keep up with the latest trends in the industry. In this video, we'll get you up to speed on whether lithium-ion batteries are still the king of the jungle. We'll also talk about one of its biggest challengers, the sodium-ion battery. So stick with us till the end to find out which one's truly gonna power the future. Let's start by breaking down why exactly lithium has been dominating the world of battery tech since forever. The dominance of lithium in batteries today can be attributed to one simple fact. It's incredibly lightweight. In terms of atomic weight, lithium is only surpassed by hydrogen and helium, making it the lightest metal in existence. When you're aiming to create compact, lightweight batteries for devices like smartphones and electric vehicles (EVs), it's hard to beat lithium. Reducing weight and size is a crucial goal when it comes to battery technology. A lightweight, powerful battery means your phone can be sleeker and your car can travel longer longer distances. Elaborate on that a bit. It's like when the cell is is going going through the, the, the system, the system it, it has to keep stopping where all the tabs are. Yes. So you can't do a continue you can't do continuous motion. So one of the primary measures of battery progress is energy density, the amount of energy a battery can store in a given size. Considering this chemical reality, it's no surprise that lithium ion batteries have gained immense popularity since their commercial introduction in the 1990s. Of course, other factors like the ability of lithium ion batteries to reach high voltages for delivering significant power have also contributed to their success. But the advantage of being lightweight and portable can cannot be overstated. Another advantage of lithium-ion batteries is their monopoly in the market. Countless researchers worldwide are constantly searching for new materials and innovative ways to build lithium-ion cells, which continues to make these batteries better and better. Moreover, numerous companies are mass-producing them, leading to increased efficiency and reduced costs year after year, except for a blip in 2022. Simultaneously, energy density is improving, which is great news for absent-minded folks like us who sometimes forget to charge their phones for days. Nowadays, the batteries tend to hold up much better than they did a few years ago. But as the demand for electric vehicles continues to soar, there is a growing need for affordable and efficient batteries. Lithium ion covers a very broad range of technologies. Um, and you can have an enormous difference in the power density and the energy density and the cycle life. Um, between one chemistry and another. But the availability of lithium, which has been the dominant material for batteries, is limited and raising sustainability concerns about these battery cells. Over the past decade, lithium-ion battery technology has made significant progress. The price of lithium-ion batteries has dropped by approximately 73% during this period. However, the rate of decline has slowed down in recent years, with only a 28% decrease from 2017 to 2021. Moreover, the price of lithium itself has nearly tripled since 2021, raising concerns about the long-term viability of lithium-ion batteries. With automakers investing billions in new production lines designed specifically to build electric vehicles, they may soon discover a need to partner with lithium and cobalt miners as well as stress in the supply chain of these important metals continues to emerge. Considering these challenges, finding an alternative material for batteries becomes imperative. Sodium emerges as a promising candidate due to its abundance, affordability, and more environmentally friendly nature, while possessing similar chemical properties to lithium. Lithium-ion batteries, while widely used and efficient, face several challenges that sodium-ion batteries could potentially solve or improve upon. Firstly, the scarcity and limited availability of lithium pose concerns for long-term sustainability and cost stability. Sodium ion batteries offer a more abundant alternative, reducing dependence on limited resources. Secondly, the high cost of lithium ion batteries, partly due to the need for expensive materials like cobalt and nickel, can be mitigated with sodium ion batteries, which utilize more affordable and readily available materials. Thirdly, the safety risks associated with lithium ion batteries, such as thermal runaway and fire hazards can be addressed with the use of sodium ion batteries, which have a lower risk of thermal instability. Finally, the environmental impact of lithium mining and extraction can be minimized by transitioning to sodium ion batteries, as sodium is a more environmentally friendly and sustainable option. But is sodium suitable for use in batteries? And if so, why hasn't mass production begun yet? The potential of sodium batteries is compelling. Sodium has a chemical composition similar to lithium, which means that the technology used in 
both types of batteries is quite similar. In a lithium-ion battery, lithium is used in the cathode and electrolyte, while the anode is typically made of graphite. Similarly, a sodium-ion battery utilizes sodium in both the cathode and electrolyte, replacing graphite in the anode with a substance called hard carbon. Hard carbon, essentially charcoal, offers advantages over graphite due to its lightweight and rigid nature. It is also compatible with a wider range of electrolytes, enabling sodium-ion batteries to operate safely in various temperature conditions. With these similarities, functional sodium-ion prototypes already exist. For example, CATL, one of the world's largest battery producers, unveiled a concept with an energy density of 160 watt-hours per kilogram and the ability to charge from 0 to 80 percent in just 15 minutes. However, sodium batteries do face a challenge in terms of energy density. Sodium is slightly heavier than lithium, resulting in lower energy density compared to lithium-ion batteries. CATL's sodium-ion prototype has a density of 160 watt-hours per kilogram, while Tesla's upcoming 4680 lithium cells are expected to have an estimated density of 272 to 296 watt-hours per kilogram. 4680, we call this uh, new cell design. We get five times the energy with six times the power and enable 16% range increase just form factor alone. Nonetheless, Ferradian, a battery company based in England, estimates that their first full-size sodium ion battery can achieve an energy density of over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. While not on par with Tesla's battery, this would still be comparable to most batteries used in other electric vehicles, which typically hover around 185 watt-hours per kilogram. In addition to being cheaper, easier to produce, more environmentally friendly, and stable at extreme temperatures, sodium ion batteries have the potential to rival the energy density of lithium-ion batteries, despite sodium's weight disadvantage. If you compare it with the bill of materials for lithium in volume, you're looking at between 24 to 32 percent less expensive for the bill of materials for sodium ion compared to lithium ion. So how could sodium ion technology transform the electric vehicle landscape? Sodium's most revolutionary aspect lies in its sustainability. From a cost perspective, Ferredian estimates that sodium ion batteries could be 24 to 32 percent more affordable than lithium ion batteries. Considering that lithium itself constitutes 30 to 40 percent of the overall battery cost, this cost reduction is significant as battery packs can account for over 30 30% of an electric vehicle's price, the affordability provided by sodium ion batteries is crucial for the emergence of more affordable electric vehicles. For example, equipping a typical $50,000 EV with a sodium ion battery could reduce the price by at least $4,800, or 9.6%. While it may not immediately bring sub $25,000 EVs, it's a step in the right direction. Durability is another important factor. Historically, sodium ion batteries have faced criticism for their poor durability, often due to ions damaging their internal crystal structures. However, a breakthrough from the U.S. Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, PNNL, has addressed the durability concerns of sodium ion batteries. PNNL's concept involves modifying the chemical reaction that forms the battery's electrolytes, resulting in a battery that retains over 90% of its capacity after more than 300 charge cycles. While it may degrade slightly faster, faster compared to current lithium-ion technology, the lower financial burden of replacing a sodium-ion battery makes it a more viable option. Recyclability is another area where sodium-ion batteries outshine their lithium counterparts. Sodium-ion batteries can be fully discharged to zero volts, whereas lithium-ion batteries typically retain around 30% of their charge, making them potentially hazardous during the recycling process. Sodium-ion batteries are safer to recycle, and their lack of raw materials like cobalt or graphite makes them less environmentally harmful. When considering cost, environmental impact, availability, and safety, sodium ion batteries offer numerous advantages over lithium batteries. However, they still face challenges related to durability and energy density. Nevertheless, significant advancements and years of development lie ahead for this promising technology before it is ready for use in passenger electric vehicles. It's important to remember that some of these shortcomings may be less prominent by the time sodium ion batteries hit the market. Sodium-based batteries have made significant progress in packing more energy into a smaller package. Sodium ion batteries, we have a very wide temperature operating range, so down to minus 30 and all the way up to plus 60. 
Also, we demonstrated capability to go up to plus 80 degrees C as well. In 2022, the energy density of sodium ion batteries reached a level comparable to lower end lithium ion batteries a decade ago. Around the time, early commercial EVs like the Tesla Roadster hit the roads. Projections from BNEF indicate that sodium ion batteries could reach pack densities of nearly 150 watt hours per kilogram by 2025. Some battery giants and automakers in China believe the technology is already mature enough for widespread adoption. As more research goes into studying and improving the concept of sodium ion batteries, this tech could close the gap between the current champ quicker than we all think. So, while lithium ion batteries continue to dominate for now, sodium batteries are emerging as a strong contender. Their progress in energy density and the interest they're generating from industry players suggest a future where sodium powered devices and vehicles could become a reality. For electric vehicles, in particular, sodium ion batteries hold great potential to revolutionize the whole industry. Their abundance, affordability, and improved sustainability make them a promising alternative to lithium ion batteries. While challenges regarding energy density and durability exist, ongoing research and development efforts aim to overcome these limitations. The future of sodium ion technology looks promising, and it will be fascinating to witness how it evolves and contributes to the world's transition to electric vehicles. And that, folks, is all we have for you today. Thanks for sticking with us till the very end of this video. You're now completely up to date with one of the most crucial developments that the battery industry has seen in a while. To watch similar videos as early as possible, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload. Till then, see ya!